What's going on Axie fam, Elijah here back with another video and what an insane week it has been or week or two I should say in the Axie Infinity world. The servers went down, we got them back, everyone freaked out in the meantime. AXS has gone to the frickin moon so I hope you all are holding some and if you're not at least waiting uh, for a dip to get in but it's just some good times as usual here in Axie land and you know, it's the best project in cryptocurrency. Of course the token's mooning, of course they fix the servers. And I am just so happy to be able to play again. So I've got an awesome video for you guys. I have to show you this team, it is absolutely absurd. So if you've ever watched my streams, you'll know that I'm always attacking Shrimpinator, okay? Cause I think it's a bit overdone, everyone wants to play it. I just think it's a little bit stale. Like when I play the game, I wanna be trying to do new things. So that being said of course it's a very strong build and I was looking over the marketplace and saw this guy today look at this dusk first of all dusks I think might be the very best class in the game even though I haven't experimented with them much but their base stats are absurd I'm pretty sure that if a dusk has all reptile parts its health is 61 which is the same as a full HP plant and speed 45 that's just crazy now this has all kinds of body parts so it's 50 50 health, 44 speed, which is still very durable and quite fast. And this is my midliner on the build I'm gonna be going over. And it has a backdoor, it doesn't have shrimp, it's got toothless bite, and we have some trigger with lagging thorny, obviously big damage there, blue moon. And this is gonna make it fairly easy for me to wipe out a lot of things. Birds, obviously, but most importantly, the toothless bite is a big threat. It makes opponents freak out and overreact and have to use snails and defensive moves when I might not even use my backdoor attack. I might just go through the front in a lot of games. So I just thought it was a well-rounded build. Now the cool thing about this, let's look at this other Dusk. It is so crazy. 44 speed again, 52 health. It's just sick. I mean, I got double slow. I'm almost never gonna be the slowest Axie in a 1v1 because I can do lagging and croc. And if you see where I'm going with this whole thing, look at the massive slow capability to make sure I stay ahead of the game in terms of tempo. My midliner has lagging, my backliner has lagging, it has croc. These sort of utility builds allow you to dictate the game and you know, I just picked this guy up today for 0.24 Ethereum, which I think in this market is pretty good. This is a breed that one of my CTG members did. His name's Tamaguchi Gang, he's one of the core members, and he popped this out not that long ago and sent it over, so I don't think there's very many of these in the game. And then we have a classic plant up front, leaf bug for energy and yam, of course, to help us get the triggers for the thornies. I mean, we're pretty stacked there. We have so many cards that cause debuffs, but it's still nice for that purpose. And also most importantly, to deter our opponent, because with this build, I really need to kind of stock up, pass a few rounds, get the combos I'm looking for and have options in the mid game. So the plant here, I need to really use wisely and get as much value out of it as I can. So this is the squad. I figured I would just jump into some games and again like my favorite thing in Axie is trying new builds new teams and experimenting it's just so fun it's like I never get tired of doing it and you know this is similar to a Terminator in the back this is similar to a shrimp in the middle but also very unique in their own ways you're not gonna see this ever the shrimps shrimpinator aquas they're usually I mean they're pretty much always aquas with aqua cards and damage so here this is quite a bit different and I think just being a dusk aquas do worse in terms of damage to dusks so I think I'll have a nice advantage if I face Shrimpinators, which is why I named this bad boy, I eat shrimps for breakfast. All right, let's jump into the arena. Now my hope here is that even if you guys don't have this exact same team, if you are playing Shrimpinator, maybe you'll gain some insights into how to run that build. And obviously there's just always um, insights to gather when you're looking at Axie Infinity games. No matter what your build is, right? Some of the core principles and fundamentals, they're the same. Count energy, pay attention to cards. So I'm hoping that any outplays that come up here will be useful to you and your team. Okay, we have our first opponent here. Looks like we're up against an Aqua and a Bird. So I think that's a fairly good matchup for us with uh, Double Dusk. He does have a lot of beast and bug damage on that midliner, so that could definitely be problematic for us. But again, we have the ability to shift momentum with tons of slows. And as I mentioned earlier, I can backdoor this bird pretty easily and take him out as well. 
Now, in a lot of cases with uh, back doors, like I said kind of earlier, let me think of an example here. First of all, I'm gonna do leaf bug serious. But essentially, like, uh, you know, sometimes you're just gonna wanna go front. Like, if there's a beast at the midline, you might be more threatened by that. The bird actually isn't a huge threat in a lot of scenarios. Um, so sometimes I'm just gonna chew through the tank, kill like the beast for instance, and then be in a good spot. However, when they do have eggshell, they can pull you away late game and really screw you up. So it's probably overall pretty good to just snap off birds with a, a midliner like this. I don't really have a good play here, so I'm just gonna be passing in round two. He passes as well. Whew, man, now I have a lot of cards on my backliner. I guess I'll go for it. So I saw one hot butt, one serious, I believe. I haven't seen a pumpkin yet. So I could be running into a pretty huge brick wall here. So I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different and just pass one more time. Wow, he actually, oh my God, is this a joke? This is so silly that this is, Gonna take me out actually. So he gets the backdoor combo. He's gonna get rid of me. Good for him. Um, but I'm actually still feeling all right. I have a humongous hand. I have all the energy in the world. I think he'll probably pass here um, considering he just played like all those cards on the aqua and bird and he'll probably play pumpkins and leaf bugs and stuff. I have nine energy, literally nine energy, but I'm still just gonna pass because I know that he's going to try to defend the tank most likely. So there's the pumpkin and the leaf bug. And now, I mean like I have an entirely full hand. This is sort of crazy. I don't think I need laggings. Uh, what do I wanna do here? Maybe like let him waste again? I mean at this point, he can pretty soon do another back door against me, so maybe I have to go for it. So maybe I just do this. Yeah, all right. Ooh, that's nice for me, because I think that's actually gonna just straight up kill his plant. He's not gonna get any value of these uh, out of these cards that he's playing, so this is a big round for us. I think we'll steal one. Yeah, we do. And let's see, does he get the serious off? He misorders, he misorders, he doesn't even get the serious. So now we're cooking, now we're cooking. So he's gonna have to figure out what to do against this dusk here. I'm gonna go with uh, obviously big damage, just basically all the damage I can because you know at this point if he has the energy, he'll probably go for another one of those swoops with the uh, transfer on the egg. And if I survive it, then I'm in pretty great shape. Um, let's see here though, let's see here. I have to be careful as well. Do I play something on my tank? Maybe I do, maybe I just do this. What's he gonna do this time? Okay, so he's going with Ah, he's going through the front. Ah, and he crits me. Damn, that's unfortunate. But I'm gonna slow him. I am gonna slow him. I didn't play the yam, wish I would have. I didn't, but that's okay. I'll still have three energy next round and he'll still be slowed. Now the problem is I'm gonna face an eggshell from this guy in the next round from his bird, almost certainly. So I think what I need to do is kill that like as cheaply as possible which in this case is just gonna be croc, uh, thorny, and then a lagging, I think. Cause I know he's gonna pull me in. I know he is going to pull me in. I have to make sure I kill it. I have to make sure I kill it. So here it is, here we go. We knew this was coming. And I don't really think he's got a lot of resources, honestly. I think he's pretty dry. So that's gonna be the end of the bird if we pull off this 2v1. I mean, not 2v1, this is a 3v1 that we ended up in. So he gets rid of the stun, now I just need to get some High shield, okay, okay, we will take it. We will, we will not be mad about that. And 160 shield, is that gonna be enough? Now he can heal up twice here with the zigzag, but is it enough for him is the question. I guess I have to go as big of damage as I can. Probably need to play the thorny, just in case he does do some healing. Wait, actually no, I don't need to do that because if I survive this, I go first next round. So I literally just need to survive this. I just need to live. He only has two cards. What an insane game. This guy dusted my midliner in round two. And just by being patient, by letting him burn out those plant cards, we managed to fight back and get the W. Oh my God, what a sick game. All right. So it looks like we have our next opponent and it's a tri-spikes dusk build to so a terminator in the back. 
kind of similar in terms of composition, right? So we're both running like Dusk Reptile type damage. I have to be mindful of the Tri Spikes. Now he doesn't have the Thorny, which is normally the major killing blow, but this could still really hurt, right? Uh, I don't want to take too much damage on my midliner. Anyway, round one, don't have a great play. I'm going to pass. Also, this is a healing tank, so generally versus these, I'm not going to attack into them until I've seen him waste a pumpkin or a heal, and I, I want to basically make sure I can guarantee the kill when I'm attacking into a tank like this. So he's going to pass as well. Now, both of our builds kind of require us to stock up and have combinations. I still don't really have much going on for me here. I think I play one pumpkin and a yam. I know it's kind of weird, but this is really the one round I, I get to do it. And in case he did get a big draw on the backliner uh, with like thorny damage and goes for it, I'll get some yam off on him. Actually, no, maybe I'll hold the yam. I I'm going to hold the yam and just play the pumpkin. All right, so he passes once again. And now we're in a situation where I'm assuming he's just waiting to spam a tri spikes combo because he's done nothing so far. I think I want to force him into my plant. I think that would just be hilarious because it just seems so likely that that's what's incoming here. I'm not going to bother with backdooring this guy this game. This might not be smart, but I just want to give this guy the business for doing what he's doing. Okay, unfortunate. I really anticipated him uh, doing a tri spike. He's sitting around doing nothing. So I went for like, you know, covering my, my back doors here with uh, putting up enough shield. Unfortunately, he doesn't. So I kind of waste these two yams. But at the end of the day, I was going for quite a big outplay on that one. Didn't work for us, but I think we can still manage. Now I'm in a situation where like, I kind of want him to hit me in the midline with the tri spikes combo because it's not going to kill me. And now I'm low on energy. So I actually have to like go for uh, all this stocking up on all this energy. So I'm going to do that. Could be facing some healing up on the tank, but he might also be afraid of me chomping through and playing thorny and leave it just hanging, which would be kind of nice. But I'm going to just do this. There's the tri spikes. Not worried about that. That's not going to kill me. It's just going to hurt me a little bit. But look, I have a full HP plant still just sitting here hanging out. So I'm actually okay with that happening. And I think this will actually get a kill or very, very close because of the poison charges that are ticking down. Great, he's got five HP. So literally doing anything is gonna kill it because of the yam. So I'll just get rid of the stun on my midliner. All right, he's using all of his uh, big, big damage cards here with his backline Dusk and he's still not gonna kill me. So I'm actually in like a decent position here. I'm gonna dust off this reptile this next round. It's gonna be humongous damage on this thing. Okay, so we're gonna go lagging, thorny, blue moon. Let's see, how much do I need here? Thorny, I think I don't really risk it. I think I just like make sure I kill this thing. It's kind of important. Pretty sure this has to do it. Are you kidding me? This guy's gonna play a four card combination into my <laughs> Husk that has 87 HP, but he's actually not even gonna get to do that because we're gonna kill him. Oh my God, what an insane. He was hoping to outplay me that round and try spikes my backliner, but we were not having it. And now this lone Terminator, Dusk, is in a very, very tough situation. Now I think what I'll do here is try to uh, break the stun that he's gonna play with the snail with just one of these. Actually, let's see. Actually, I think I'll just do this. I'll get a little bit of damage in and uh, save up for a bigger combination in the next round. Oh, he's 44. He's 44. So if I hurt him, he's actually gonna go before me. So I need to play a lagging as well. Okay, cool. So he does just the thorny. He actually doesn't play a snail. So I'm actually gonna be getting some damage off here as well and guaranteeing I go first. Now guys, the reason that I had to play lagging to slow him is because the way speed works is if two axes are the same speed, whichever one has lower health will get to go first in the next round. So if I didn't play that, then he would have been able to go before me here and that would have been obviously very problematic. So now I think what I need to do is, I basically just need to avoid getting slowed and I should win the game. So I think what I'll do is go lagging, thorny, chomp will actually get rid of the stun. I'm using that to negate the stun so I can guarantee I get in the croc as well at the end. I hope this works. Or should I just chomp through? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. If he plays two laggings, I mean, so lagging, thorny, chomp to get rid of it. I think I just kill him here. I actually think I just straight up kill him here. GG. This guy's not gonna get this one. 
Just enough damage. He was going for a double slow as well. Not going to happen today. We take down yet another game with our double dusk combination. And I'm loving it. I'm loving this cool little combo. And that is, I think, going to be it for this build. It's a super fun one for me to play. Um, I don't know if it's amazing yet. I haven't played enough games to really figure that out. I'm sure it struggles against uh, certain builds, definitely. But um, so far, it's a solid team. It's fun. It's different from the standard Shrimpinator backdoor stuff that you'll see. Uh, this is the Toothinator right here. Toothless Bite, Double Dusk, insane amounts of slow potential, and I hope that you guys got something out of this video. If you wanna go out there, try to find similar similar things. Uh, look for you know a toothless reptile that you can throw at the midline and maybe something slightly different from the completely standard Terminator just to switch it up, you know? And I do think this plant, if you're doing this type of build, is kind of essential. The leaf bug, yam, serious, you really need that. You need the energy, you need the yam for triggers and uh, damage and to deter the opponent. And that is gonna be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As you guys can see, I've been doing some live streams uh, lately. The videos for those are all on my channel as well if you wanna check them out. But keep an eye out. I'll be doing more of those in the future. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are the best. See you in the next video. Peace.